That's right, I got your juicy entertainment news for Wednesday. Wu-Tang Clan's one-of-a-kind album was sold to anonymous buyer in the U.S. in exchange for imprisoned pharmaceutical executive and hedge fund manager Martin Shkreli's debt. Remember that name? Shkreli, uh, of course, gained notoriety in 2015 after spiking the price of a drug by 5,000% using his company. Uh, he was um, The drug was used to treat a rare parasitic infection and uh, the cost of the drug was $13.50. That was the original cost. He hiked the price up to $750 a, tab a tablet. Um, he also purchased Wu-Tang Clan's famous copy of their album The Wu Once Upon a Time in Shallowin um, at an auction for $2 million. Now the exclusive album was seized by the U.S. government in 2018 after a federal judge ruled that it could be used to pay part of Shkreli's $7.36 million dollar debt to the government. Um, federal prosecutors have not disclosed who the Wu-Tang album was sold to or for how much, but obviously they got some money to help pay off that debt. I'm curious to know if they got more than two mil. Um, speaking of money, Rick Ross, uh, he's just now in the process of getting his driver's license. Yes, you heard that correct. He may own over 100 cars, but he can't legally drive any of them. And, uh, you know, only after expanding his car collection has he begun the process of getting his driver's license. He previously explained that the reason he owns 100 cars isn't just for flex and for show. He actually makes money from them. He's been getting, like, six-figure checks just for renting out his cars by the hour for photo shoots. He, he once got 225 grand to put five cars in front of something to take some pictures for a couple of hours. Um, he also rents out his massive mansion for Hollywood Productions. The mansion has 109 rooms and was the palace in coming to America. The 400-acre estate was previously owned by Evander Holyfield, and Rick Ross has transformed this massive estate into what looks kind of like a tourist attraction with a very impressive garage to hold all of his cars. Everything from luxury whips to vintage um, American muscle cars. Um... Here's something I absolutely love. He mows his own lawn. Yes, when he brought the property, locals used to tell him that Evander Holyfield spent a million dollars a year to have the grass cut. Well, he wasn't spending that. So he went straight down to John Deere and bought the biggest and most efficient tractor. I wish that I could have been there to see the look on their faces when Rick Ross walked into John Deere, right? Uh, he bought himself a tractor. He now spends five hours sitting on it, cutting his own grass. Um, he said not only is he saving himself a million dollars a year, but it's very th therapeutic for him. He said he finds it very peaceful. He rolls up a big spliff, of course, hops on his tra tractor, and um, he said he looks at his property and he can appreciate his own struggles, his triumphs, the rough days. He said it's the smallest thing, but it keeps a smile on his face. Um, he also flies commercial, by the way. He likes to save money. Um, speaking of living modestly, Kanye has been living in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta since his list event last Thursday. We were talking about this from the beginning of the week. Well, now we're getting a look at his personal room. Last night, he showed off his humble sleeping quarters, which appear to have been temporarily converted from a storage room. He's got a twin bed, a place for him to hang a couple of outfits, a handful of footwear options, and a clock. And that's it. Now, of course, this has had fans speculating and predicting that the album could feature a refreshed Kanye rapping from his soul and checking all material possessions at the door. And, of course, there are also the jokes. The Internet's been going crazy, like Kanye's living like a Scandinavian serial, serial killer serving his three-year maximum sentence. Or Kanye found a new, new York apartment in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, obviously referring to the size. Um, and Kanye making the most anticipated album of all time from a college dorm. This one my fave though Kanye really living in a storage closet of an NFL stadium this is going to cure the Delta variant ah and that's your juicy entertainment news for Wednesday locking in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all new kiss 96